India's AI boom isn't just a story of unicorns, hype and billion dollar dreams. Sometimes it's unfortunately a story of heartbreak. Last week, Vishnu Ramesh, founder of Subtle.ai, posted a single line on LinkedIn. TLDR, we have started shutting down Subtle.ai. And just like that, a promising Gen AI startup won that once outperformed OpenAI on benchmarks that worked with SBI and even India's defense ecosystem quietly began to fade. But this isn't just about Subtle.ai. This is actually a mirror held up to India's AI ecosystem. And the reflection, well, does not make for comfortable viewing. The death of Subtle.ai and a warning. Subtle wasn't just another rapper startup. They were building real stuff. Yes, a rag platform for enterprises, 92% retrieval accuracy, 5 lakh rupees worth of time saved for SBI. A product called Private Perplexity for Enterprise. And they even beat OpenAI plus OSS stacks by 15 to 20%. So what actually happened? Vishnu said it himself. They spread too thin, too many industries, one-off clients, no repeatable revenues. What he ended up saying was this, I failed my team more than they failed me. I am a better CTO than a CEO. It wasn't the tech, it wasn't the talent. It was actually something much deeper. Market chaos, cold feet from investors, and the dangerous myth that a good product equals a good business. Worst of all, it was actually the silence. No follow-on funding, no SDKs, no development community, just a link that said, reach out. And Subtle wasn't actually alone. Subtle is now part of a growing graveyard of Indian Gen AI startups. InsureStack.ai built an insurance-specialized LLM, InsureGPT, enterprise-grade compliance, backed by an accelerator. Shut down, unfortunately, in a year. Unicorn.ai raised 16 crore rupees to build an AI-powered networking platform. Pivoted to D2C skincare. Burnt 2 crores per month. Collapsed. Ninti, a personal AI habit coach by Paris Chopra. Shut down again. Returned unspent venture capitalist funds. It wasn't actually a venture capitalist scale business. Builder.ai, a Microsoft-backed unicorn once worth $1.5 billion, now facing bankruptcy after scandals, inflated sales, and round-trip revenues. Neva, the AI-powered ad-free search engine, acquired by Snowflake after struggling to get users. The causes? Well, it is burn, hype, no IP, bad pivots, inexperience, fragile investor faith. The hard truth about India's AI market, well, let's go ahead and call it out. It is free POCs, ghosting clients, endless sales loops. Founders are chasing mirages. Runnable's Umesh Kumar said it best. India has a big beep talent problem. 50 lakh worth of salaries, paid pilots, still couldn't hire good back-end talent. And the investors, well, they show up, they smile, they ask questions, but they don't commit. Vishnu from Subtle said, we made hiring decisions thinking the money was coming. It didn't. That's why so many founders are skipping India altogether. They're raising abroad, building abroad, selling abroad. Maybe they'll return but not until something actually changes drastically. Because right now, India Enterprise isn't startup ready, especially not for AI. We also had mentioned 100 unicorns, remember? Just last year, venture capitalists said India will have 100 AI unicorns in the next decade. Peak 15 says there's 16,000 crore rupees worth in dry powder, waiting for AI bets. Axel believes even rapper startups can evolve into deep tech. The government 
launched a 1 lakh crore deep tech RDI fund. So then, what gives actually? Both stories are true. India can build 100 AI unicorns. But it will bury 1,000 before that happens. The fragile ring holding global AI together and let's not actually just pretend that this is only India's problem. Globally, the open AI ecosystem is balancing on very thin ice. SaaS tools that call open AI APIs wrap them in pretty user interfaces, burn through venture capitalist cash. Most of these have no moat. One model update, one funding winter, and they're all gone. As Srinivas Rao puts it, it's actually a very clever setup, but it's brutal and brittle. Jasper, Copy.ai, Tome, Notion clones, Slack bots, well, they're all terminal. So the point is, what now? The shutdown of subtle AI isn't just actually a post-mortem, it's a wake-up call. If we want AI to survive in India, we need very patient capital, focused founders, real moats, developer ecosystems, fewer free pilots and users who pay. Because until those align, we'll keep losing founders who could have built the next Sarvam or Krutim, but actually, unfortunately, didn't. Not because they ran out of money, because they ran out of time. And what's worse is they actually ran out of belief. We need to stop losing our best minds to broken systems. And maybe, just maybe, it's time to stop romanticizing the next unicorn and actually start fighting for the ones that almost made it. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember, think AI, think AIM.